Worst client has been updated to Minecraft 1.21.6. So to get it, you want to head over to Worst Client's official website, which is going to be linked right down in the description below, together actually with my Discord server, where you can find many more clients just like this one, so I'd greatly appreciate it if you could join it. Anyways, on Worst Client's website, you want to head over to the download button, and then you obviously want to choose Worst Client for my girlfriend 1.21.6. Here you want to choose the latest uh, Worst Client version available for 1.21.6. In my case, there is only one, so I'm going to choose that one. Anyways, here on this page you can find some information about the client, but we'll scroll down until we find the download section. Obviously we're choosing the download once again for 1.21.6, so then you can click on that button right over there that's going to download us worst client and now very important you also want to click on the white button next to that that is going to download the fabric API which we also need for worst client by the fact that you need to download the fabric api you're probably already able to guess that you also actually need to have fabric installed for minecraft 1.21.6 if you don't have that yet or you're not sure where to get it then i will link that right down in the description below so now as you can see i've got the fabric api as well as worst client right over here in my downloads folder and if you also have that you can press on the windows and r buttons at the same time and then the in the box that pops up you want to type in app data just like so then hit enter or click on ok and then right over here you want to go into the folder called roaming then dot minecraft and then right down into the mods folder once you're there, you want to drag in both Worst Client and the Fabric API, just like so. And once you've done that, you can close up both of these and open up the Minecraft launcher. Guys, here inside of the Minecraft launcher, we can simply go ahead and select Fabric for Minecraft 1.21.6. And then once you've done that, just go ahead and launch. So here I have loaded up Minecraft Fabric 1.21.6 and now we'll just simply head right into a Minecraft world. If you want a full in-depth tutorial that um, I have made, I will link that down in the description below. Anyways, uh, as you can see, we have loaded in over here and to open up the click GUI area, you want to press on the right hand shift button on your keyboard and that is going to open up this massive area. As you can see, it's quite large. This contains all of the utilities that Worst Client has. We can hover above these and that's going to give you a description of what they do. Clicking on them will turn them on and they're going to be green and clicking on them once again will turn them off and then they're not going to be highlighted anymore. Uh, if you want to look for something specific, you can of course do so and it'll sort then. Um, and for the rest, if you click on this green arrow over here, that's going to open up a customization menu for this specific utility. In this case, it's the aim assist. It'll tell you the category it's in, a brief description of what the utility does. And here is a list of all of the customizations this has, which it's quite a lot. And of course, in the bottom over here, you can enable and disable it. For the rest, a really useful thing almost all of these menus have is the ability to set a keybind. Keybinds are obviously a very important part of being able to use this client efficiently. Alright, so for the rest, this area should be pretty self-explanatory. However, we can scroll down and we'll see a few other things. You'll notice that after this um, alphabetical sorting, you'll um, encounter ones that uh, utilities that start with dots. I'll get to those in a second. Um, but here at the very bottom, we have some general utilities, which includes a general hack list, the option to disable worst, for example. There's translations. There's also legit utilities like the zoom right over here. Um, and the tab GUI. What the tab GUI allows you to do is to um is, is to have this click gui on the side of your screen over here if i close out of this and you can navigate the click gui as we were just doing um except using the arrow keys on your keyboard and so you can also actually do that while moving around some people like using that uh anyways i can just uh, turn this off again for right now for the rest over here you'll notice there's a watermark um we have the worst logo right down here, which is showing, and you can change its visibility to only show when you're using an outdated version. And this way, as you can see, my screen is going to be completely clean, but of course, I can still use the client.
For the rest, actually pressing on the right hand control button on your keyboard is going to open up the exact same click GUI, but with in a different type of view. This is a more generic layout of what click GUIs look like. As you can see, um, this obviously all has the exact same features except just laid out in a different way. Some people prefer this one. Uh, keep in mind that you can scroll in some of these sections at to not miss out on anything. Uh, for the rest, let's finally get to the utilities starting with the dots. Those are commands that this client has. So if I type in chat over here, um, a dot and then any command, I'll just start with dot help to start. Then as you can see, we're going to get a list of the commands. They're not all going to print out. We need to go like dot help three and then we're going to get the third page and just like that you'll see all of the commands um, and basically it's that simple these commands and a bunch of other really useful features the useful part of this is that when you go over here and head into any of the commands it'll tell you exactly what the command does as well as how to use the command which is the syntax um, so that should help you out figuring out exactly how to use all the commands. Uh, finally, in this pause menu, um, the, the pause menu, you'll notice there's a worst client options button. This simply has your keybinds, x-ray, and zoom managers together with some other general utilities. Uh, for the rest though, that was basically that. Those are the basis, basics of using worst client. Uh, once again, there is going to be an in-depth tutorial link down in the description below. But for right now, thank you ever so much for watching. And I do, of course, hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye. Uh, all right, guys. I'd like to um, take a moment at the end of the video here to apologize for potentially or actually definite lower quality um, in this video. To explain this, here's a picture of my current setup. Yes, it is outside. As you can see, I'm homeless, and the laptop I'm using is, well, fucked. Like, yeah, honestly, it is. Like, it has to lean against the bench, otherwise the screen just falls out backwards. No, but, um, yeah, I'm on holiday right now, and I still wanted to kind of, like, release the video, because the update did come out, and so I'm like, um, well, F it, here's the, <laughs> here's the video. So if that doesn't, isn't dedication, I don't know what it is, make sure to subscribe for that, and uh, I definitely hope to see you all again in the next one, when I return to normal.